While the 10th card on this list is the Grotti Cheetah, before any of that, I think it's important that we let you guys know the three factors that I took in consideration when coming up and ranking the 10 cars on this list. The first factor being the looks department or just how customizable the car may be inside of the garage. That's one. Two, the second factor, we have a lot of car meets on the channel. So two times a week, I'm able to see a lot of different variations of these cars from different people. So that's two. And the third factor, of course, is top speed. And while this Ferrari Enzo appears to go faster than the 120, 125 that it says on the dash, it still manages to come in at 10 on this list. And now for number nine, the Debachi Spectre. Or in this case, the Debachi Spectre Custom. Now the base model of this car is still $599,000 even without custom in it and you still get a good package of liveries so you definitely need to add this car to your arsenal. Now it's modeled after the Aston Martin BD10, unfortunately we can't see how fast it's going and y'all know I like to know that but hey it's still a good car, it seems to be pretty quick, I like it, I love the smooth look of the Aston Martin, number 9, the Debachi Spectre. Now for number 8 on the list, the Vapid GB200. This rally car was surprisingly tight. I had no idea that I was going to like this car so much. And for $940,000, hell, it better be tight and have quite a few liveries to choose from. Modeled after the Ford RS200, it's got really, really tight handling. I mean, I, that, that was very impressive, I'm not going to lie. But what was even more impressive was when you took it off-road rally style, I mean, it was almost like the ground had some sort of magnetic pull forcing the back end back to the ground, giving it superior traction. I mean, I was trying to go side to side to make it pour, and it's, it wasn't having any of it. I mean, this car, definitely pick it up. Now, for number seven on the list, the Debachi 770. Full disclosure, this was one of my favorite vehicles when I first got into some money. For $695,000, I promise you, you would just love the way this car looks off the bat the way it feels the handling the sturdiness of it i mean i could talk about this car all day long with his real life counterpart being the Koenigsegg one i'm pretty sure like myself many of you are gonna have to look that up to see what it looks like unfortunately on the inside the dowels are a little bit too small to see exactly how fast we're going but it's still a slick ride now for number six on the list the vapid dominator gtx this muscle car is one of the cars that everyone loves to have modeled after the mustang gtt this is definitely a car that you could possibly see in real life and on the street somewhere at only seven hundred and twenty five thousand dollars on the game go ahead and get yourself one and add it to your collection now not necessarily for the top speed factor because i'll be honest with you the exhaust makes this car sound a lot meaner and faster than what it is but nevertheless just for the sheer looks factor sound factor this car is a must-have now for number five on the list, the Pegasi Zentorno. Classic vehicle. I almost don't know anyone that doesn't have this car. And for $725,000 as well, you got to add it to you as a collection piece. I'm telling you. Modeled after the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. Whatever the hell that is. Never seen it in real life. Probably never will. Doesn't matter. This car flies. Appears to go around 140 on the dash. One of the fastest cars on this list. What else can you say? Everyone needs to have every single Lamborghini on the game in order to be cool. Right? Right? <laughs> Let's move it along, man. And now for number four on the list. The Bravado Gauntlet Hellfire. Now, I don't know if it was just me, but when this vehicle was first coming out, there was a lot of buzz surrounding this car. For $745,000, you definitely need to own yourself this Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. I mean, it can drift. It sounds mean as hell. It's got great top speed. It looks good from the inside. And it's a damn classic muscle car. Competition orange. You can't see me, baby. Let's go. Now for number three on the list, the Grotti Turismo Classic. Made to draw comparisons from the Ferrari F40, I'll be honest with you, this car could have actually been number two on the list, but if you stay tuned, I'll show you why we actually picked the second car over this one. But nevertheless, for $795,000, there's absolutely no reason why you do not own this vehicle. Superb handling superb top end speed even going up here we managed to touch around 140 nothing else for me to say but i love the car paint it red just like i did and you'll be a new fan favorite around everyone <laughs> now for number two on the list the lampadati viserys an 
$875,000, man, at the car meets, this car is popping up all the time, and you can see why, man, a lot of people are putting F1s on it or whatever, it doesn't matter, wow, for $875,000, go ahead and make it happen in your life, man, I'm telling you, now, what made this car number two? You can add mini guns to the front of this car. So for me, any vehicle with weapons is automatically one of my favorites. Now for number one on the list, the Enos Paragon R. For $905,000, this 2018 Bentley Continental GT is a must have. It just came out recently when the casino update was introduced to the game. And wow, man, I mean, it pops up at every single car meet. It's everywhere, everyone owns it. It's really, really fun to drive really really quick in and out of turns and brakes and i managed to get it up around 124 on the dash and again one of the great things is you can actually see how fast you're going so and they also made a armored version of this car if you want to do more tank style like crap on the game so many top five videos under 500k 200k 100k i mean top five cars under trucks and vehicles for heist music videos live streams car meets so much more you can see right now